Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Lithography machines have always been hailed as the crown jewel of industry. Although they are top high-tech equipment, they have not been well known by most people. Why are they so concerned by everyone in China now? In fact, it is still due to Trump. Since 2019, Trump has launched a chip blockade and used lithography machines as a tool for sanctions, and ASML, a Dutch lithography machine giant, has become the focus. However, with the announcement of EUV technology breakthroughs by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, ASML has also changed its tune. At that time, Trump quickly changed his face after returning from his visit to China and began to launch multiple rounds of sanctions against Huawei, a Chinese private enterprise, with the focus on restricting chip shipments. First, Intel, Qualcomm, and other US giants were restricted from shipping high-end chips such as 5G. Immediately afterwards, the United States continued to restrict wafer foundry giants, such as TSMC and Samsung from manufacturing high-end chips, such as Kirin for Huawei. At that time, China's focus was mainly on Huawei. After all, a superpower launched unprecedented harsh sanctions and encirclement against a company and Huawei, a hard bone, was determined not to compromise. No matter how great the difficulties were, it still carried the burden forward. At the same time, the United States also launched controls on China's wafer manufacturing company SMIC. Not only did it include SMIC in the US entity list, but it also repeatedly petitioned the Dutch government to prevent SMIC from purchasing EUV lithography machines. In order to develop advanced chip manufacturing, SMIC spent $120 million in 2018 to order a new EUV lithography machine from ASML. It was originally scheduled to be delivered in 2019, but due to US obstruction, shipments have been restricted to this day. It is precisely because of this incident, coupled with the United States' continuous increase in chip restrictions, that EUV lithography machines have received more attention. As chip technology continues to develop in the direction of miniaturization, ASML's EUV lithography machines are needed to enter the process below 7 nanometers. Although immersion DUV can also achieve 7 nanometers or 5 nanometers, it is not actually done that way. Because that requires multiple exposure technology to achieve not only high technical requirements, but also low finished product yield and high cost. However, the United States continues to expand restrictions on lithography machines, and it is not easy to localize lithography machines. Fortunately, China still has Shanghai Microelectronics, which has been working hard and has become one of the few lithography machine companies in the world, so that mature process chips will not be strangled. Of course, China has not given up the development of advanced lithography machine technology, especially EUV lithography machine-related technology. For many years, many optical and mechanical institutes of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have been working hard. At that time, academician Bai Chunli also expressed that the priority should be given to breakthroughs in lithography machine technology. However, after all, lithography machines are the biggest shortcoming of all semiconductor equipment and materials in China and the United States, Europe and other Western countries have the first mover advantage, master more patented technologies, and set up many technical barriers. 
so China faces great difficulties. Over the years, China has made breakthroughs in many semiconductor equipment, and the 5 nanometers etching machine of China Micro has entered the production line of TSMC. Only the key technology of EUV lithography machines has not been effectively broken through. So even the then ASML president, when Ninka said that it is impossible for the mainland to replicate China's EUV technology, and Western media even said that the mainland cannot make breakthroughs independently. In particular, the EUV light source is extreme ultraviolet light, with a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers. It is necessary to beat the liquid tin droplets into particles thinner and smaller than a hair, and then bombard them with lasers 50 times per second to generate enough energy to realize the EUV light source. In the past few years, China's Harbin Institute of Technology, Tsinghua University, and others have been developing EUV light source technology and have achieved some important results. But what really shocked Europe and the United States and made ASML start to change its tune was the recent breakthrough from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Relevant news shows that researchers have established an EUV light source experimental platform with internationally competitive operating parameters. This time, the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences successfully developed the LPP UV light source, which is driven by solid lasers. It is completely different from the EUV light source solution of the lithography machine giant ASML, and the light source conversion efficiency achieved is higher than that of ASML. The most difficult part of EUV lithography machine technology is the EUV light source. If the light source is conquered, more than half of the EUV technology will be solved. Of course, it will take some time to realize domestic EUV lithography machines. But this breakthrough has shocked the West because China is getting closer and closer to a breakthrough in domestic EUV, and by then the global lithography machine market may be reshuffled. Therefore, foreign media recently released news that Dutch ASML engineers have also changed their words. They previously said that even if they were given drawings, China would not be able to build a lithography machine. Now they predict online that the mainland will build EUV within 10 years and catch up with ASML.